Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another Walking Dead discussion topic. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these, and I know the season 5 of The Walking Dead ended about 3 months ago, but I still, ha I still have a few discussion topics I want to do. Uh, I know I haven't had time to do them because I've been watching movies over the, over the summer and a bunch of other stuff. New TV shows such as Ballers and Scream, The Brink, and True Detective Season 2 coming out. So, yeah, but I'm going to try to do a few more discussion topics. Also, since both Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead Season 6 trailer are supposed to come out this Friday, I decided, you know, maybe do, let me try to do one or two discussion topics before the trailers actually come out. So, yeah, this one is going to be what would have happened if the wolves had killed Morgan um, in the season final Conquered. Um, so, yeah, basically what would have been the aftermath. So as you guys remembered at the beginning of the episode in Conquer, was Conquer, um yeah yeah Conquer, um we had Morgan he was just sipping his chocolate milk or coffee or whatever um by this car basically by um by this car that probably crashed we see the two wolves um basically confront him he gets into a fight pretty cool fight um he wins he is able to disarm them and he basically leaves them locked up in the car. And then he kind of leaves, and then he saves Daryl and Aaron, and manages to find his way into Alexandria. So yeah, now this discussion topic will explore what would have happened if he would have been killed. Uh, aside from making a lot of people pissed, a lot of fans pissed, um, in the show, what realistically, re realistically would have happened? Um, first off, let's start with the wolves. The wolves would have gotten his, gotten his supplies. Pretty straightforward. Um, he dies. They they take his supplies. Um, he and then yeah, de and then depends if they're merciful or not. Which from what we've seen, they're not. Uh, they he would have reanimated and they would have carved a W into his head, and he would have been part of the zombie army now, or the Z Nation of the Walking Dead, basically part of that zombie army. Um, so yeah, but as we saw in the episode later in the in that episode. He managed to save both Aaron and Daryl, and I think that's a major part of uh, for now, because we haven't seen anything in season six. But so for now, I think that's the major takeaway. What would have happened to Aaron and Daryl also if Morgan hadn't come around? Um, so yeah, basically this is how I see it. Daryl probably would have survived. There's a good chance Daryl Daryl would have survived um, to begin with. Um, he's he's got plot armor. He's got plot armor. He's a fan favorite. Um, he's a fan favorite character. He's got plot armor. They're not gonna kill him off. And such a it's not really lacklustering, but it's not really an appropriate death for the character. It's, it'll be a pretty. I mean, it, it is action packed, but it's not an appropriate death um, for the character. It's not really a good death for the character, um, in my opinion. However, Aaron, he could have he could have died. Um, cause he doesn't really have plot armor. Now you could say, you know, you, you could say he is the first gay character, um, or he's one of the few gay characters, gay, gay characters in The Walking Dead. I mean, yes, that's true, but not to be sexist or whatever, racist or whatever, disc discriminate against anything. But really in this situation, it really doesn't matter. It depends on who's the fan favorite and plot armor. Also, if you just want to go through logically, just you know who's tougher who would most likely survive, you have Daryl, who was wearing leather, he was wearing jeans, he was wearing leather, about three layers of clothes with his, lay with, with a, with a t-shirt, um, his, a button-down shirt, plus his, um, leather jacket, so he had three layers of clothes, um, what's his name, Aaron, on the other hand, he, he, he too had about three, maybe two layers of clothes, he had a jacket, and he had a button-down shirt, I'm not sure if he had a, a small t I'm not sure if he had a t-shirt underneath but he had at least two layers of clothes uh, now the jacket he was wearing however it's not made out of leather it was a windbreaker so that's something you could rip pretty easily through trust me I've done it really easily by accident it's pretty easy to to break um, break a windbreaker okay um, so yeah so in my opinion if Morgan would have died um, if Morgan would have died or if he wouldn't just have or if he wouldn't be able to rescue Aaron and Daryl, I think um, Aaron and Daryl at the end, I think Aaron would have died. However, 
Daryl, I think, would be ready to sacrifice himself for Aaron just because they do have that kind of relationship that they're both outcasts. Um, they're both outcasts, you know, whatever. Um, so I do think that, to some degree, there is some plausibility, some possibility that Daryl could have died in order to save Aaron. And in that, that could have been a great death for the character of him trying to save someone. So, yeah, I think one, someone would have died, whether it be Aaron or Daryl, someone would have died. I'm leaning more towards Aaron possibly dying just because of plot armor. He's not really a fan favorite yet. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd lean more towards Aaron possibly dying. Now, you could say, you know, maybe they both die. Maybe the zombies overtake both of them and they both die. Again, pre, um, possibly true. Um, so, yeah, I mean, honestly, if Morgan would have died... But if the wolves would have killed Morgan, first off, he would have been reanimated. They would have taken his supplies. He would have had a W carved into his head, and he would have been a zombie. That's that's the first most logical part. Um, that's the, that's something you don't even have to um, guess. Um, you know, consider, speculate. The rest, however, that's something you could speculate. Um, so yeah, now, I mean, the same. Even if he lived and he just didn't reach Daryl or Aunt Aaron um, early in time. There's still a possibility that that same situation could have gone down, you know, that if Morgan just wasn't there, he still lived, but he wasn't there, you know, same situation, one of them could have died while the other one lived, that's a good situation, but just to be, just to make it a bit more realistic, if Morgan would have died, because at least with Morgan dead, there is no chance for them to be saved, or at least by Morgan, um... So yeah, honestly, that's my that's my humble opinion. If Morgan would have died, they would have um, the wolves would have taken it. First off, they would have taken his stuff. They would have taken his his weapons, his bow staff, his supplies, his you know his cho hot chocolate and coffee and whatever he has. They would have taken his his supplies, carved a W into his head, and left and and maybe left him there to reanimate as a zombie or maybe bring him into one of the trucks. Who knows? Either way, he's gonna turn into a zombie at the end. Um, as for Daryl and Aaron, I think one of them would have died, most likely Aaron in my opinion, though there is still a possibility that Daryl could, could could have died. So yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Um, you know, what are your thoughts on this? Um, if Morgan would have died, what do you think would have happened? Um, he sure as hell wouldn't end up in Alexandria, that's for sure. Um, we still don't know what, how he's going to affect Season 6, so I'm not going to go um, way into there, um, into Season 6 territory, that's more speculation. And, and until we see the trailer, we still really don't know what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. So, aside from that, comment down below on your thoughts on your speculations. Um, would really lo love to hear your, your guys' thoughts on it. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you, guys, whatever you guys prefer. And aside from that, that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.